the Lifeline Wireless Monitoring System for first response. From Safe Environment Engineering, from a family of products including personal safety monitoring, confined space monitoring, perimeter monitoring, common alerting protocol, messaging and alerting applications, and systems design and integration. When tactical information is critical, designed to meet the needs of extreme or hostile environments, two simple switches and a few mouse clicks are all that is required to have real-time instrument data viewed anywhere there is a network connection. The Lifeline Wireless Monitoring System is comprised of three parts. The Lifeline Wireless Dongle, the Lifeline Gateway, and the Lifeline Meter Display Software. Lifeline integrates with many of the meters and sensors used by first responders via a self-contained wireless dongle. The dongle attaches to the instrument and provides a wireless telemetric interface. A Lifeline gateway that relays the instrument data and location information through the internet. Remote real-time instrument display emulation software. The Lifeline system utilizes standards-based wireless technology designed to create an interoperable standards compliant platform. Lifeline is a device that receives the meter data, consolidates, and securely relays the readings via a global wireless network. Lifeline is designed to operate utilizing global standards for information interoperability. This ensures all agencies involved will be able to share the same data in real time. Battalion Chief Bob Kramer of the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Uh, I'm currently uh, commander of the tactical planning section for the fire department. Mick Kelleher with the LA County Sheriff's Department the Hazmat Detail. My name is Jonathan Hall. I've been with the uh, Los Angeles Police Department for 13 years and the Hazardous Materials Unit for eight years. I'm Officer Matt Sieber. I've been with the department for about 18 years. We have the ability to push out meter readings from inside a hazardous environment to people who are sitting in an air-conditioned environment can monitor the conditions inside that environment for the people who are in there. Making an entry is very, very stressful. Often enough, they're inside multiple layers of protection. They can't read the meters accurately. When I get on a hot day like it is today out in the sun, with my sweat and everything, it's going to completely fog up my mask, and I won't be able to read the uh, LCD screen on this. I may be able to read the alarm or see the flashing lights and hear the alarms. It's not, I may not be able to see what's going on. As hazmat technicians responding to a WMD incident, our hands are going to be full right out of the gate. We're going to have a lot of things to uh, prepare, our personal protective equipment, all of our monitoring equipment. This affords us the ability to leave somebody out of the hot zone, back in the command post, someone that knows the information, is familiar with the information, and monitor this and send it out to various responding agencies. Once on scene, my team will make those decisions and go in and we'll be sharing the information with the, uh, with the fire services and other police sources. We'll also have the ability to send back to the, the information quickly to the HAZMAT group supervisors and then the Department Operations Centers and the Emergency Operations Center for the county. Lifeline integrates in real time with the DASHI decision-making software, among others, and is capable of generating maps, plumes, and response guides. Problem. Broadcasting sensor readings over traditional radio systems. Media can listen in and report inappropriate data to the public. Solution. Lifeline's wireless dongle transmits encrypted meter readings to commanders and technical representatives. These decision makers can, in turn, make public announcements when and where appropriate. Problem. Situational conditions require entry teams full attention. Elevated meter readings are not seen and potential hazards are missed. Solution. Technical representatives view live trends from sensor readings and alert the entry team of changing conditions. Problem. Getting real-time wireless sensor readings from any location. Solution. Implementing established cellular technology capable of penetrating many environments. Getting information that we're seeing and, and detecting in the uh, hot zone out to help with the decision-making process has been invaluable. This technology has also allowed us to free up our hands, free up our minds and our eyes, to be more aware of the tactical surroundings and the threats that may be posed by individuals or other problems, secondary devices or things of that nature. The ability to share this data with subject matter experts wherever they are sitting, the ability to be able to uh, share our readings with somebody who's sitting in an office at a remote location who is indeed an, a subject matter expert and can give advice to our on-scene uh, personnel on how best to deal and cope with an incident. We rely on the support of 
you know, uh, companies like uh, Safe Environment Engineering to develop these technologies based on our input and uh, that certainly helps us in the long run. And what it is about is sharing the information appropriately and in time with the people who are having to, to deal with the environment. First responders have a powerful new tool to deal with emergency situations. Decisions can now be made at command level due to the real-time dissemination of information. The Lifeline Wireless Monitoring System from Safe Environment Engineering.